Well, hello everybody. This is Steve at Thousand Years Home. So if you've been following me for a little while, you'll see that I've been building everything inside of my shipping containers using uh, hand tools, either handheld power saws or chisels and hammer. And I'm making it out of the cedar you see around behind me. So it's, it's not too big of a deal. Um, but I'm not terribly precise. Uh, I've got a little shake in one hand. Uh, I'm holding it with the hand that doesn't shake. <laughs> but uh, So my cuts are not as precise as I want. But I'm building a couple of bookends inside of the uh, Connex that will end up holding a stained glass window. And for that, I need um, my cuts to be more precise. So with that in mind, <clears throat> I went and bought a 10-inch um, uh, table saw. Now, uh, something that's important for me that uh, not a lot of people have talked about, it's, it's 1,800 watts. Now, I'm way out here off-grid, right? So an 1,800-watt uh, saw might be really important. So fortunately, my trucks behind me have built-in generators. Uh, I got two of them. So uh, one of them, uh, uh, each one has split phase, and I can do 3,600 watts on each phase. So that's 7,200 watts per truck. Um, I just got to make sure that I don't plug in a saw and an AC unit into the same uh, circuit, an A or B circuit. So, but uh, that's important. So I'm chasing the sunset right now. I, I get off work every day around five. Today I went to the dentist, so I got off at about seven, and I'm I'm going to run out of of time for me to unpack this thing. Oh, it's uh, really nicely boxed. There's not a lot to unbox in this. I think if I turn it upside down and pull the box off, I'll have the whole completed saw. That's heavy though. cedar tree branch above me since it's so hot I've, I'm working in whatever shade I can find here in Texas I wanted you to know it shade is in my way disrupted oh my god Jiminy Christmas Fuck me. of course man could that have been any more difficult all right, well, that branch is a dead branch. I'm gonna cut that off. Well, I thought it'd be pretty easy to set this up. Pulling through the parts. Look, I'll even have to put the wheels on. A separator, that's a push stick. I think I'll save all of this. Some nuts and bolts right here. I'm so excited. My sucky, <laughs> my sucky unboxing, <laughs> my sucky unboxing completely, but uh, I did pull it out of the box, uh, taking a look at the components. I'm going to have to cantilever the uh, the deck there to get that, uh, get that piece of styrofoam out, but uh, anyway, I, I'm a big believer in reading manuals, so I pulled the manual out first thing, and I'll read through that. Uh, uh, not really an unboxing, right? This is more of a set up in the wilderness <laughs> video uh, with an eye towards uh, people who are on generators for this. So uh, I want to take my time to do the setup. I don't want my blade um, 
uh, a little out of curve there and making saws that aren't 90 degrees. I want all my cuts 90 degrees. I bought a good blade for, for this particular unit, uh, I believe a Diablo blade, so uh, I should be able to make good cuts. So uh, I'm excited about this. I'll go ahead and go through the owner's manual here and then I'll, I'll uh, bop back into the unboxing so you can watch me unbox the thing and, and uh, we'll go through it from there and I'll get it set up probably tomorrow is what my guess. I think the sun's going to beat me to the sunset. So we'll see. All right. So welcome back to A Thousand Year Homes. This is Steve. So yesterday, uh, or maybe it was two days ago now, I had unboxed a uh, Roby table saw, but then uh, I had escalations at work. I had to engage. It's two o'clock on a Saturday and I finally got enough time to work on this house. Uh, I need to do something about that. So, uh, but I'm going to continue setting up the Roby. So let me rotate around. All right, so I noticed uh, one thing online. Uh, there's a lot of different models of this saw. And uh, the big thing that I notice is the table is different for each one. Now, notice my table came almost fully assembled. They have saved me a lot of time and effort. So I really appreciate that. Now, uh, I believe I bought this at Home Depot. I think it was the last model. I remember this stock boy having to climb up on the... Uh, the uh, third story to get it out of way in the back so uh, but it says rts 23 and that's what indeed what the box says so um but apparently there's quite a few different versions of this uh and as far as i can see uh, a lot of those differences are in the table but um so the the deal that i looked for right away is is how much watts that it would consume and it, it ends up being 1800 so uh and there's your specs right on all of this uh and i won't bother reading them you can read them yourself uh but uh I'm a big Roby fan. Uh, I picked it because I already had some Roby and I didn't want to uh, redo all of the uh, all of my batteries. So uh, let's see. I found everything but the... Uh, says here I should have some wrenches. There's some miter. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a little different than in the picture, I believe. No, that's a guard. Huh. Oh, there it is. So uh, uh, quite a bit of storage underneath the bottom of this saw I saw as well. So um, I haven't ever assembled one of these, so we're going to assemble it together. I'm going to make some mistakes. Uh, they saved me a lot of time by putting all of the, you know, the wheel hubs on. Uh, you know, there's the wheels. I sorted it out based on things that will be on the table, the stand rather, and things that go on the saw. Now, I'm not going to put the guard on. I'll, I never use the guard, and I'll continue to not use the guard. But you do you. Uh, and then I'll end up making an extra push stick one of these days. I want to point out on the uh, on the uh, the legs for this, people have a problem all the time with those, but they're marked A and A, right? So A goes with A, and then that the legs will need to flare out so that it's supporting the weight of the stand once it's open. But mine came already assembled like this with the uh, locking uh, nylon uh, bolt through this spot where it needs to be. And I'm going to assume these are in the proper orientation. It looks like it, right? When I open it, it, st it stops them. So uh, <clears throat> let me go ahead and set up the camera and have it uh, watch me while I build this. All right, so I noticed it said there'd be some wrenches and I looked around, couldn't find them. Look, they're right there, a fence on the, underneath of the table. So, move this up. So you'll see them right there underneath. So some things are already mounted and other versions of this, I see that they, um, uh, they're not mounted. So good luck finding your parts. I'm sure that'll be fine. <laughs> It's just so bright out here. I can't see what my camera's doing. So anyway, I hope that that's all good for you. Let me go ahead and snap this in place here. I'm just going to do that so I can hold the, uh, hold the bolts in there and put the pieces on a little easier. All right. 
So this one says D. So I'm going to look for D leg, B leg, A leg. One of these are going to be C and one of them is going to be. Oh my gosh. Are they really going to make me go get a wrench? Sorry about that delay. I'll cut that all out. Across the bottom, looks like self tapping screws, maybe. Let's see what we got in the back. Things I don't recognize. I don't know where those go yet. Are the right screws for it. hot out here that my camera keeps shutting off uh, overheating and so I, I don't know where it left off here but <clears throat> I have a few things left to do I need to put in the safety screws here which are self tapping in the legs I've got the wheels on uh, and loose enough that they spin and I didn't have to do anything with this dust vent but you still see that I've got the plastic in uh, uh, styrofoam in there so it said I needed to tilt the bevel unlock and tilt the bevel which is here which I haven't done so let me see I don't see a lock do you oh there it is oh yeah right there and I heard it already come loose so there we go tilted and came right out so this is my little pile of parts that still remain so I don't know what those things do yet and then there's my self-tapping screws and a couple of other screws. I'm assuming this one's probably for that. I don't know. And that one's for that. And maybe they're spare parts if I get lost. Or maybe they're indicators of some kind that go there. Anyway, I'll look through the manual and figure that out. And uh, 
but I'm going to turn off the phone so <laughs> and put it in the AC so it can cool down. Okay, I figured out the last couple of pieces that I want to put on. That's the the rip stop, the uh, not the rip stop, but for the yeah, the rip stop for the uh, table that you pull out. So you open the wings here. There's one on the front, one on the back, and then you can install the extension table. Once it's all the way in, then this piece goes through here. Like that and this piece oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I drifted off there I apologize and then this screw goes in there doing it one hand it's extremely difficult so I'm gonna have to put down the the because uh, I want to make sure my alignments right when it's all the way there that you know that I'm on the 17 here so it lets me scooch it around but I won't be able to do that while videoing but that's the last step uh, for these screws and then I will have assembled everything on top of the Roby uh, table saw. All done. Next video will be me uh, cutting up some some shelves to reinforce the windows inside there and uh, make a little uh, um, bookcase, I guess, curio shelf. It will only be three inches deep. So, I mean, it would hold a Bible facing you, <laughs> or uh, but more likely if some photographs would fit on it. But the real purpose is to reinforce the, uh, the windows um, that I cut out in the Connex and then to install the stained glass, uh, one in each bedroom. So uh, uh, look forward to that. Anyway, this is Steve, A Thousand Years Home. Like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed my field assembly of a Roby 10-inch uh, table saw and with Kurt.
uh, didn't get the vision for these um, crashes, I'll call them, nooks, that'll go in the bedrooms. <clears throat> of course, I'll have to do a notch on that and groove, and then I'll do notches on this and groove those, and here will be the stained glass windows, and those will be open air, and uh, naturally they'll all be flush. It won't, won't look like that. So the last piece I have to cut is the bottom. So I, I measured once and I made two, which gets me all the way done with the windows once that's put in place. The windows are slightly different, so I, I will do final assembly separate on each one uh, just to get that half inch or so difference. And I gotta cut the bottom out. And uh, I have, let's see here, uh, my camera hit the ground once. So I'm gonna go line dancing today. Let me clean the lens, sorry about that people. So I'm gonna go line dancing today. Uh, actually, it said 80s night, so I'm going to 80s dance night, so I gotta get ready for that. But uh, I'll put those together tomorrow and we'll see uh, how it all looks and hopefully I can keep this uh, Connex moving forward in this heat. Uh, I'm gonna turn this off now because my poor little camera can't ha handle it. Like and subscribe. This is Steve, a thousand year home. And I guarantee you, cedar, it can last a thousand years. So these uh, shelves are gonna last a thousand years.